Now, Aswa Ranch is one of those ranches that we inherit it. Recently, you must be aware there is a world food crisis. And because of world food crisis, the president advised and the cabinet took a decision that we use government ranch, ranches and all government run to produce for food and nutrition security for, for the country. So Aswa Ranch is one of those ranches where we are doing production. Uh, Maruzi, uh, Water Fire, uh, Kasore in Musoga, uh, Ruseke in Uganda, Nshara in Ankole, Ruhengere in Ankole, Sanga in Ankole, and uh, Rubona in Fort Porto, in Toro. So when we came here, we encountered challenges of the boundaries. Not that uh, people don't know that uh, Aswa Ranch existed. They all know, all of you know. The challenge is boundaries. <coughs> and my coming here is actually very simple. Bwana chairman and other DC. Get your technical team, get uh, <coughs> the surveyor, who shall come with the uh, government surveyor from lands. You also get a surveyor from Guru. Let them map up what was Aswa Ranch was or is. And then we look at the map, then we invite the MPs, we invite the, 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 the local government and discuss. Because public land is for you, it's not for, 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 for me, it's, it's the interest of government that uh, we preserve public land for investment in the future. If we do not have uh, Inshara, if we do not have uh, uh, Sango Bay in central Uganda, if we do not have uh, um, Maruzi in Lango sub region, we will not be producing oil and soap now. But you know, government has reached out to investors and they are doing producing oil for both consumption and also for the soap industry. You must also be aware that the government does not sell any of its land. They only lease out producers. Even those who are producing on this land, like prisons. Prison is not going to take away this land, no. They are producing for you to produce foundation seed for farmers to plant. We have realized that actually, if we leave out farmers without giving them seed, it will be a problem. So we have contracted prisons and narrow to use government land to produce seed for the Wanainchi in the PDM. So Bwana Chairman and other DC, your concerns are, are very, very clear, is boundary. And what brings me is boundary here. Everybody talks of 63,000 hectares. 63,000 hectares is not small land. Atua Ranch has never, never, never crossed Atua Tulamua. It has never, it has never crossed. So if this is a new initiative, then we, we don't know what to say. So it has never. And that is how I can sum up. We have all the documents. Atua Ranch has been there. It is the government property. It is the government land. We cannot contest that, but it has not crossed to Lamo. Thank you. On the issues of uh, Atua Ranch, I think we just need to, as government, to sit first as leaders and see that we have a good flow of information. Because what we are going, what I'm trying to see and I've been sitting on to control as chair of the district security committee to see that there is no animosity in society, to see that people remain calm. Because people wanted to pick <laughs> and start doing things which are wrongly. I said, no, there will be a time when government will communicate and things will be done in a manner 
which depicts government. I want to beg that the information in the public domain in actually sub-region is not the same. It's moving from different directions as far as Atuaranj is concerned. Because our elders, our elders sat down those who benefited from the ranch because one actually said they are the one who gave the land for the ranch and they said the ranch exists one they said the ranch exists the issue is about the boundary is what is going to bring contention is the issue of the boundaries they are saying we gave land because we wanted to have good breed of animal in this sub-region we wanted to have good breed of animal in this sub-region how could they do? The only thing is to set up a ranch to help. Uh, and I want to tell, to attest to this fact, Minister, that myself, from Machua Ranch, the, where Maiv is right now, I've been in position to acquire like five uh, cattle from there. And they are huge in size right now. So many people do not know this information in the, <laughs> here. I've seen the animals which you, the Maif is trying to put there, it's helping us. But the only thing is issues or boundaries. Because the information which is in the public domain here is uh, the actual council in their sitting, their wisdom, said when you are going to acquire this land, compensate the one inch. Compensate the one inch and government got money and compensated people in 63,000 hectares. That was the people compensating, 63,000 hectares. That's the information in the public domain. And that one now, government went ahead to fence her land. The 63,000 hectares was fenced. And all the eyewitness people who worked in the land, in, in the farm and everything, they know where. They still have the remnants of the, the life wires there after today. They know it. So they are saying issues of boundaries. I want to tell you that uh, we had an interaction when I saw a letter from, uh, from uh, Uganda Livestock Industry, my minister. I went to, to the office of Livestock Industry in Tinder. I told them to give me the factors surrounding this because I don't want to have insecurity from unknown. And I will be charged for it's ignorance, you know, ignorance, I've got no defense. So uh, they gave me those documents. They gave me the document, but I told them there is now an issue here. You have changed the land to an free all. Why did you change it to free all? Because the other ones in 1960s was lease hole. Why did you change this one to lease hole? We had some interactions with them. But I went to the minister of uh, disaster and relief, Honorable Minister Ila Runek, I told him these things falls in your <coughs> constituency and you were the former Minister of Agriculture. Come and talk to your people and try to restore hope in them. Then he came, he met the, 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 the community in game, talked to them and he said what he knows is 63,000 hectares. As an elder in Acholi, because for him he's now an elder, he's in the, in the level of the exit generation. So as an elder, he knows it ends with 63,000 hectares. Then I told him, I said, the best thing is to go to Kampala and sit with your team. So that when you come here, you come with one position. He said he will do that. We also had meetings with my chairman and the other members of parliament, plus the district speaker, we agreed that the district should give a position on this, and also the district land board should give us a position on what happened in 2016, when uh, the new title, when the, the process of renewal was taking place, and we were still in the process of waiting for a response from the district land board so that they give us exactly what happened because most of these leaders right now are new people in 2016 they were not in office so what transpired they didn't know so we wanted to know the genesis of 
the process of renewal. How was it done? Why was the title changed to leasehold? So these are issues that are here. And then thirdly now is the paramount chief of Acholi, Lord David Nayana Chana II, came and gathered the elders of Palabek, Greater Palabek and the others, and he, he instructed and he got five good lawyers to represent his subjects who are in that area. And right now the process are ongoing and he has summoned all the leaders of Acholi sub-region and all the stakeholders who reside in Acholi to his palace on Saturday, 10 o'clock, for the meeting on land. And the land is issues of Achuarani. So this one tells you what is here in place. So that you be in position to know what is happening in Achuarani sub-region. The fact is, even the paramount chief who comes from Paira, he said in Paira they have the land. That is Padeis, where he comes from. He said that the land is there, but it has not crossed. So these are issues of boundary that you need to resolve it properly so that we have one statement. These issues of Achua, as you put it, it has been contentious. And uh, the community had meetings like twice or even three times. And the whole thing that is circulating is about the history of the ranch. Because uh, they are talking of back in 1967 when the ranch was given by Choli councils, was given to the government. Um, the amount of land that was given was 104 square kilometer, no, uh, hectares. And then uh, 63 of the hectares were compensated because those councils, when they were giving the land, they told the government then clearly that we are giving you the land, but we are not the stakeholders. We are only the leaders. Then uh, the 63, I think, was cleared and government started using it for, 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 for ranch. Now, the remaining hectares, the we, are hectares not, we, are not, yeah, miles. we are not, we are not, uh, we are not, we are not taken. Then now, in 2016, that was when the new map has come out. And the, the new map now is the one bringing problem. Because if we talk about the 63, that 63 followed the bank of River Page. And I think did not cross to Lamo district. So what is now bringing the problem is the new map that was, uh, for them they are saying, created in 2016 without the knowledge of the people. That, 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 that has been a very contentious issue. It's very contentious. And that was why when I was coordinating with your PA yesterday, I was asking whether you communicated to my minister. Because now the blame is on him from the community. They're saying now he's the one who is selling this land to the Ministry of Agriculture. No, no, no. He's the one now who is pushing for this thing. So the blame has been on him. That was why I was thinking if uh, like this coming, if he could be there. So that uh, his weight plus yours. Then we tell clearly to the people. But uh, what is in the mind of the people now is that the land, actual land, did not cross to Namo district. Actual ranch has remained the other side of Page. And this is what we will continue getting on the ground. Yeah. Rather than arguing on something we don't know. That is very important point. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then we shall report the minister and the way the, 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 the government 